It's time for the Matt LeCroy Show on Fox Sports 1460. Brought to you by the Holiday Inn Middletown. Now with today's show, here's Terry Byram. Matt, uh, tonight is game two of a three-game series with the Erie Sewells. Last night, a tough one. You know, we get to this time of the year, and uh, we've talked about this a lot. It's not a split season, and it's one it's one long season. So you, you play teams with either a really good record, maybe, or a, a record that's not so good, but it is in no indication whatsoever of what kind of team that really is right now. No, there's no doubt about it. I mean... Uh, you could have a totally different team in the beginning and get off to a bad start, and then just you know you have a hole so big that you you, you can't get out of it, and and still have the probably the best team in the Eastern League at the end. Uh, I mean, that's I never look at the record here in this league, and you know we're playing a team that can really hit the swing it swing it really well, and they they made us pay yesterday for mistakes and. You know, it's just a tough stretch of baseball for us right now, and it, uh, hopefully we can start making some adjustments and, and uh, come out on the winning end of some of these ball games. hopefully on multiple times to, to get some confidence. And, um, you know, hopefully tonight's tonight. Yeah, with the, uh, with the halves, and you were in, you managed in low A and in high A, it is, it is something that you know is happening. So around the beginning of June, you know you have a couple weeks left. And if you're in high A, you get some players from low A. And uh, so you know that you can maybe refocus for the second half of the season. Which one, which way do you like it better? Well, I mean, I've the ben- there's a couple benefits to both of them. For me, I mean, the halves uh, actually give you uh, a little bit more incentive uh, when you look at it. I mean, you may your, your first half team may, may be young. And they go through a lot of struggles, and then the second half you get a you get a uh, second chance to regroup. You may get some added pitching, some added depth to your lineup, and then you got a chance to to play for some at the end. But I think that's the benefit of the halves is that you're not really always out of it, you know, because if you first half you were bad, second half you you can start over. Now here with the Eastern League, you play a full season. Full season's different. I mean, it's more like the big leagues. You you can start off bad, end up good, and be right in it, or you know start out real hot and then play bad down the stretch. You're out of it. So there's there's a couple of benefits that I see. I for the younger kids, I like the halves, and then here in the Eastern League. But the way it is now, everybody moves a lot now. So the halves would probably be a good idea here for the Eastern League. Yeah, you mentioned everybody moves a lot, and I think over the last several years that certainly has changed where it it isn't just the nationals that are moving players. I mean, everybody is moving players. There, When you start looking at the stats, there are very few guys that have good seasons that are here for 142 games. Yeah, back when I played in this league, you know, and uh, I mean, you played the full season. If your numbers wasn't that good, you came back and did it again until you proved that you could do it. Now it's the opposite. I mean, you know, guys kind of, and we call it graduate, where they just go up uh, just because they, they, the team wants them to go up to the next level. And a lot of teams are doing it now it, during the season here in AA where you didn't see it much before. Uh, so I think that would benefit uh, our league going to halves. But, you know, I'm, that's way above my pay grade to make those decisions. But as a manager, you know, sometimes when you when you play a full season and you're out of it at the beginning, it can really drag uh, really long uh, at the end. So I think that's another benefit of halves that – you still got that incentive to, to, to play for something when you have a half, whereas when you play that full season and you're struggling, it could be really long. So last night I made the comment on the air that there were some heads hung out on the field with things that were going on last last night in the ball game. And we talked yesterday about you – know, you talked about how you wanted winning and losing to be important. So what do you do now? It's three weeks and a few days just to keep – these guys, not even about necessarily winning or the playoffs, but just to keep these guys focused that these three weeks are important regardless. Well, I'm just being positive. You know, I'm, we our staff meets every night, and we talk about uh, on our side of it being positive, being energetic, going out and getting our work done, no matter what's going on. I mean, we asked them from the beginning to, to put ourselves in a position to play for something, and we have done that. So the biggest thing is enjoy it. No matter what happens, if you get a spot or you don't, you actually put yourself in a spot. And that's all we can ask for. But for me, I don't want to see guys uh, hang their heads or, or go home looking at, well, I didn't I didn't do well. Uh, I want them to, to enjoy the moment, and hopefully they'll end up being 
uh, ending on a good note where they go into off season and they got something to look forward to. All right, Matt. Thanks a lot. 